Let's say Nigeria not go fit day on top until they will get strong legislation uh, framework uh, for better action for women for the decision making process. This is now part of the submission of Savvy Savvy People for 18th every year conference of WIMBY's when they do for Lagos on Thursday. Our talk talk person, Felicity, is a wiki. You get the other three there. Do we want to win? The echo was a resounding yes to shaping the future and strategizing to win, which were the major talking points at the 18th annual conference of women in management, business and public service, WIMBY's held in Lagos on Thursday. Wife of the Akiti State Governor, while giving her keynote address, however, emphasized that this can only happen when the affirmative action for women in Nigeria receives legislative backing. We will continue to appeal, we will continue to beg, if we do not have legal and policy framework in place that guarantee that women have a seat at decision making. We've also heard the argument that affirmative action is discriminatory. There should not be any woman anywhere or anyone who suffers from discrimination and exclusion who should argue against affirmative action. Affirmative action levels the playing field. Her call receives the support of the chairman, Nigerian Stock Exchange, who moderated the first panel session. We should be institutionalizing gender balance in the, in the, in the country. I think that's something that we need to focus on. It'll take time, but we need to actually create a framework for it. Speaking on the relevance of the two-day conference, chairperson of Wimby's executive council and a member of the board of trustees spoke on the importance of organizing such gathering. We can shape our future. We need to not give up, not lose hope. And it helps when we can have our plan written out, if we can visualize the future that we want, um, then we need to sit down and think about how we can achieve it, almost like reverse engineer the steps. And if there are gaps,